That's new battery day. The lithium batteries have turned up. Let's go open the box. And here they are. Two crates with eight 400 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells. These things are very well packed. They come in a great big wooden box. Okay, got the nails off. What's inside? It's like a crypt. And there they are. They are monsters. Let's get a test meter on them. Okay, we've got our trusty test meter. Let's see what they read. Uh, red one. That's a positive. This one must be a negative. Three point three oh three point three moving a bit three point three oh seven and need to see other one Wow three point three oh seven The other thing I bought was this um, lithium cell logger. It records all eight cells and has that alarm output. Didn't think it was going to be this tiny. That's really, really small. Here's some terminal collect connecting hardware. The bag split in the, in the box. Seems to have been made out of both laminated copper interesting and big 14 mil bolts I think yeah so this is box one and it has a packing note with um, serial numbers this has cells 6288 through 6293 and the other box had um, 6294 and 6295 just taking the tops off yep Eight cells in an unopened box. Nine three nine two nine one ninety eighty nine and eighty eight. Let's get a test meter on them again. Three 
3306, the others were 3307. Next one. Three three oh eight. Three three oh seven. Wow, all within one millivolt. Three three oh nine. Woo. Another three three oh nine. Oh no, three three ten. And cell six two nine three. Three three oh seven. So that's cells six two eight eight to six two nine three. So, here we've got a setup for doing the formation charge on these um, lithium batteries. Um, they come part charged, about 30%, um, and you have to charge them up to full, uh, at least 4 volts, uh, between 4 and 4.2 volts, before their first use um, to complete the formation of the cell. So what I've got here is a programmable power supply. Um, can set the uh, the volts and the amps uh, limits on it. Um, I've set it to 4.07 volts. Um, it also has a uh, over volt alarm function on it. This is set to 4.02 volts, and when the uh, charger gets to that point. Um, it will alarm and it will shut down um, so the battery shouldn't be overcharged. Um, I also have an accurate test meter to measure the cell voltage directly connected to the terminals there and also my little cell logger that I bought um, and that's also got a alarm set on it for 4.0 volts. Um, it will beep uh, when it gets to that, so it will get an audible alarm um, and the charger should shut down as well. Um, it's current limited at the moment to uh, 5 amps and as the voltage gets close to 4.00 volts it should start to ramp down. Um, the meter, voltage meter here is only showing uh, 3.64 because there's some voltage drop in the wiring to the terminals. Uh, but that should reduce as the battery gets more full. Um, it's going to take a while, um, about 50 hours in fact, if the uh, uh, battery is only uh, about one third charged when it's delivered. Um, and we've only got 5 amps charge current. Um, it takes quite a while. Um, to get it up to the full 400 amp hours. So it's going to take a while.